Welcome back. This is War 8. We are going up against HCK today. And I'm taking all my fights after the Globals down, mainly because of this Cersei. So, I knew this fight was going to be a little tricky. I don't have a white mags. Um, so I knew I was going to have to trigger her glancing and give her power anyway. Um, and then launch a special 3 once glancing was off. So, once I get to my special 3, I know the fight's over. It's just a matter of getting there. Because she's unduped, I can't rely on MD to uh, get me there with the regens that she would get if I hit her while she was glancing. So I have to get there, for the most part, the natural way. Um, here, I need to trigger her glancing before I can launch this, or my special three will not stun. And uh, so, backed up into a corner, just got to evade the L2. Now she's going to throw a bunch of heavies, and she's going to throw a light into my block, which kind of threw me off um, for the timing on her heavy following it. Uh, so she hits me there, takes the third hit of my indestructible boost, but now I've reached my special three, and her glancing is off, so at this point, the fight is over. Um, I'm going to come out of this and just take her power away. And then I'm going to get back to my special three here launch it before her glancing can come back and she's going to go down um there was a couple things that i saw could have gone like a little haywire in that fight i thought i might have to uh tank a special three um which is why i used an invuln but i didn't end up needing to and then next up i have this kingpin i'm taking him with herc so i put suicides on uh my fight following this is going to be a five star nimrod verse in r4 apocalypse so i'm gonna keep suicides on for that fight um my plan for this one is just counter his heavies with my heavies and uh i still have my invuln on from the cersei fight had to switch my masteries to suicides pretty quick and uh just gonna bait special ones here i don't want to let him get to a special two and technically I could tank a special three on this fight if I really, really needed to. Um, but the AI ends up cooperating and wants to throw a lot of special ones. So I didn't end up needing to. Um, the only reason I could tank one, though, is because Herc is stun immune when he has uh, feats of strength. And Kingpin stuns on his special three. So if it really came down to it, like if he didn't want to throw specials and I got backed up and brute force was taking me away i could just push him there rather than special two and uh, tank it but the ai cooperates and he goes down really really easily uh so this is my first nimrod fight that i've actually ever done um i went and i practiced with him for a little bit i read like how he works and stuff and i've seen other people use him uh, but normally it's one special two and the fight's over so my understanding for how he works um that was cool get hit right off the bat there going to parry that is happening more and more to me as of late and uh it just uh i'm pretty sure it's game shit it's just not taking my input or whatnot because i'm feeling pretty good today with uh with controls wise like with my timing and everything so so I launched my special two here. It does a good chunk of damage for a five star. I think he's SIG 79. Um, that was the highest I could SIG him up. I ranked him just for this war. And now I'm trying to get back to my special two while I still have um, Eradicate Protocol, which is the purple thing, and I launch it. And I thought that it would apply shocks again, but it doesn't. Um, so my understanding of how he worked and how Eradicate Protocol worked is wrong. I'm not sure why that didn't apply a bunch of shocks again. It only applied one. So um, I'm going to have to get a little bit more experience with him and read up on him some more. So now I'm just working to get back to my special two. I launch it here and he goes down. Um, no shocks again, though, even though I reach 10. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not fully sure how he works. I just I, I got a basic understanding of him for the fight. Um, and he makes it super safe because he removes uh, prowess anyway. So you don't have to worry about apocalypse being unblockable. And then last up, I have this Annihilus here with Doom. Took Suicides off for this one. And uh, I don't have a White Mags, but you can't really stun anyway because of the um, Disorient that it would put on you. So I'm just going to do the sidestep strategy where he comes running in, you dash back, and then 
toss a light for openings. I'm going to do that to get to my special one. And then I'm just going to nullify his uh, cosmic rod there. And then it's pretty much going to be game over. Because now I can parry if I want to. I probably have one, maybe two parries. Um, just got to get this special out of him. It was really nice of him to throw it right off the bat because sometimes a Nihilus likes to hold them and uh, he can kind of be a pain in the ass when he does that. Right there, I really didn't expect that to stun him. And uh, yeah, so when it did, my, my initial idea was to back up because I thought he was just going to hit my block. And then I saw that it stunned him and I went back in, but I was definitely too late for that. So he ends up parrying me, but Doom's such a tank and uh, yeah. You don't really have to worry about dying to a Nihilus here with Doom. Unless you just absolutely, like, lose your controls entirely and uh, put your phone down. But, uh, yeah. So that was it for my war. Um, the war's not over yet, but I do believe we are going to win. Unless something terrible happens. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So good luck to HC Kingpin on the rest of the season. And thank you very much for watching.